Sandy with the Mountain Girl Studio and I'm coming today to do a project share for Esme and Esme owns Crafty Me Shop and you can find her on Facebook. I always have her links below. Um, I've been on her design team for a couple of years now and I am truly blessed that I get to create for her with all her beautiful laces and trims and appliques and all that fun stuff. Um, so Esme has a sale every Friday and she does them live so it's first come first serve and once it's sold it's sold out so make sure you head over to Crafty Me Shop and join her group she's super fun and amazing and super supportive so what I made today um, was a couple little projects this is the first one this is kind of a small little book here um, kind of like a tan and it's kind of tall and thin it's a four by eight and it has one signature in it and I um, many people have been doing like that um, fabric paper but I kind of did a different spin on, on it obviously <laughs> I like my work to look 2D and 3D and kind of dimensional and texturized and uh, I like some movement in it so this is what I came up with um, doing that project so here's the front the front of it Sorry, you guys. And so it has all kinds of layers on it, and it's stiff. It's it's really stiff, so it's it's held together um, in layers. And then I also grunge it up and put some you know pill paint and um, of course. I have encaustic drip down it as well because I just love doing that and these are some of Tracy and Andrea's digitals that are on here um, that's with Tracy Fox and Andrea uh, Artsy May so that Artsy Mays and so you can find their digitals over there if you wanted to check these out so anyways so here's the back So these are all, everything you see here is Esme. These are all her laces and trims, and this is just another fun way to use her items. Esme is very, she's very amazing. She's She lets you do as you wish with her product and use them in different ways. And I, I love using her things and doing them in different ways. And so I wanted to do a journal with her things, but I wanted it to be different. So this is, like I said, this is what I came up with. This was like a collar, and we've got cotton lace in here, and trims, and um, appliques. And I just grunged them all up. <laughs> More beautiful laces, and this is from Esme Shop. And then I just finished it off on the side over here. I always like to add a dangle. And there's like a rusty bolt and a key, of course, because I love keys and I love putting them on my work. And then just a rusty safety pin. And this is just like an element. And then underneath all the lace and the, the trims and whatnot are is paper. So it's layered with paper and then all the lace on the top. So yeah. And so the inside's super simple. That's why I spent more time on the cover because this is all about the cover. And... I don't add a lot of things inside my journals. I like people to be able to use this in an art journal or a writing journal. Um, this, you know, you can prepare your pages with uh, deco pot or not deco pot, excuse me, uh, gesso, matte medium, clear gesso. Uh, you can paint in them. You know, these are just regular pages, so you probably have to do either a clear gesso or a white or black gesso and then paint on top of that just to seal it and give it some tooth. This was just some leftover art paper that I had done. I think it's fun to save your pages. There's some wax, encaustic wax dripped on there. And this is one of Esme's beautiful collar, I guess I'd call it a collar applique. It's one piece, and so I just put it down, down in the center there on each side. And then here's a piece of Esme's, I grunge that all up. <laughs> there's the back piece of my piece of grungy paper there. So like I said, this is really stiff. It's almost like, um like a well it's like a pliable feel it's, it's nice I love the texture but it's really super sturdy I guess that's where I'm coming getting at I guess it's just one signature just dictionary paper coffee paper um, and these I got this little idea from Abby with purple cottage crafts if you don't follow her please head over there she's super amazing and she did this tutorial on using 
you know, kind of like a washi tape in different ways. And so thank you, Abby, for that idea. I love it. I will be doing that and probably the rest of my journal. I think it's so cool. I mean, she does it with um, spine. You know, when you take the spine apart, you'll left over with all that textury stuff. And so she saves all that. She puts it um, in her spine of her books. I just love it. And so this is Esme's trim here as well on the pages. And like I said, it's just coffee paper, dictionary paper, book paper, some salad paper. And then I used um, actually this applique here, and I just set it on here and sprayed it, spritz it, so you kind of have that effect on there. So I just did that on a lot of the pages right here. You can see it really good. Isn't that cool? Just a spritz. There's um, lined paper in here. Just very simple, like I said, you could just gesso over this. We've got some fabric tabs in here and some more of that. This is just cheesecloth in the center there. I think it's so cool. It just adds like another texture. Spray it on. And it just repeats itself. I love this page. I, <laughs> I kind of kicked myself that it was in here. I would have kept this because it was about brushes. How cool is that? I loved it, but I was like, eh, I already committed, so it's in here, but I love that. And then here's a piece of fabric just in there. Excuse me. And then there's some more here. And that looks so cool. Oh, Abby, thank you. I love the idea. More Esme's trim on the end there. And then a fabric tab. And then the end. And then I grunged it all up on each side. I really love it all grungy and rustic. It's totally my style. I'm having so much fun creating this way. Hold on, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I had to calm my dog down and give him some treats. <laughs> okay, so the second thing is this kind of cool little mixed media piece. This is on a piece of old barn wood. Or old wood I guess pretty old <laughs> um, anyway so I left the back just rustic and in the front I um, did some painting technique and some cool um, I don't know what did I do here so I put some paint on there some crackle paint um, some color on there and then that shiny stuff is from Seth after he has this um, faux beeswax uh, that you use with your heat gun embossing powder so it gives it kind of like that pitted look that wax gives I love encaustic wax and I, I but I love his product as well because it's just really cool I love that the different kind of textures and the layers that it gives and how it gives that pitted look um, I do have encaustic wax um, on this tag this is a tag that I recently just did and um, I thought it needed something and so, yeah, it ended up being on here. I might put something up here as well. I just haven't found the, anything yet. I might maybe do some wire work up here. But I wanted just to show this really quick because this does have some Esme trim in here. And some Tracy labels on here. And so this is a... I wanted the leaf there and it kind of looks like a piece of glass. So I did that with some wire and resin so I thought that turned out fun and then I have a clear crack medium over it so it has like really fine cracks which it's kind of hard to see you guys and sorry this camera does not do close-ups <laughs> um and then there's like a, a washer and I love ticking I love grunging it up I love it how I get this you know I do this more of a black rusty kind of look and then this is an old nail I'm not sure what kind of nail that is we were joking the other day that it might be like a horse nail <laughs> but it's too big but anyways it's kind of like that and then this is just paper mache and then I painted that really rustic and this is just a piece of rusty rusty piece that I made for the stem and then there's a paper leaf and I use some of the elements that I use in my tiny houses in here I thought that was fun to layer it gives us texture this is a uh, piece of rusty um, cap that I rusted up, some tool in there, some cheesecloth. Uh, just this is, um, what did I put on here? It's been a while. I think I did, what I think I did is, if I can remember, it's been a while ago, is I did a piece of cardstock and then I wrapped 
a piece of tracing paper over it. And then I waxed it and distressed it. This I just found and I'm like, oh, I know exactly where this is going. This is, I dug this up in my property out here. I found this and I thought, oh, doesn't it look great? So how I did this is it's just a piece of paper. Then I waxed it and then I glued this on and then I just put glossy accents on it and then I put a clear crackle medium so it has cracks in it. I like it to look like it's cracked glass, kind of, you know. And then look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful what Sus stuff does? Oh, it's so gorgeous. I just love this grungy look. And there's the other piece of paper, the brush <laughs> that I was talking about. So I just love the way this turned out. It's a really cool piece. It's a wall piece. I think I love mixed media. Um, I love doing different kinds of art. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Esme, for uh, your kindness and your support and your encouragement. You are amazing at what you do in your group. You're a fantastic, fantastic, I call you my hot tamale boss lady, <laughs> but you thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work with your things. I continue to um, be inspired by, by you and the things that you sell, and I... Yeah, and that's about it. So yeah, so please head over to Esme's shop. Like I said, her links are always down below. You will find her on Facebook and just go over there and join her group and then you can get on her sales and you can get all these fantastic things that she sells every week. And like I said, it's first come, first serve. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.